I'm Don Boomer. I'm the product line manager for the wireless division at Line 6, and I'm here at GearWire today to show our new fourth generation digital wireless microphones. Uh, these look like microphones that you may have seen before, but these don't operate like any other wireless microphones on the planet. And the thing that's unique about them is these microphones do not require a clear channel to operate on. Uh, they operate at 2.4 gigahertz, right in the middle of the Wi-Fi band, and uh, it simply just doesn't interfere with us. Our system is smart, a system that has what we call digital channel lock. Our system understands its own signal, and it really can't see any other signals. It just disregards everything else. So any other kind of interference, be it hum or buzz, fluorescent lights, uh, you know, that neon beer sign that's always got you in the past, um, they simply just get sloughed off by the system because the system can't see it. So what we have here is a microphone that is super dependable. Um, we are actually transmitting uh, on four frequencies. So this is the only digital microphone I believe in existence that has uh, what we call frequency diversity. Other microphones have true diversity, spatial diversity, that's the kind everybody knows about. And we have that system as well built into these. But in addition, we have frequency diversity. So we're actually transmitting little bits and pieces of our digital signal on multiple channels. And that means that uh, statistically it would be very, very difficult for anything that can operate at 2.4 gigahertz to ever hit enough of these channels to degrade the signal. Um, we have a digital signal, and as you know from your HDTV now, you either get perfect signal, that is no ghosts, no shadows, um, no interference, or your channel mutes out and turns off. That's the same thing that happens with these microphones. They deliver perfect audio all the time until you get out of range, and then they just mute. So I'm speaking in the handheld mic. Uh, this is the V70. This is a 12-channel system. Um, we have 12 channels, and all 12 channels operate all the time. You never have to scan for frequencies. All 12 work anywhere on the planet. Once you set this to whatever channel you'd like it to be on, wherever you get off the tour bus, you will not be affected by television stations um, or anything local there that can, that can interfere with your signal. Um, we also have the new XDV30 system. Um, same digital radio. This is a six-channel system. Um, and it has a shorter range. This has a 100-foot range. This is a 300-foot range with the, uh, with the rubber ducky antennas. So the system is ultra-reliable. Um, the system uh, is, well, uh, let me put it this way. There's nothing that sounds better than this system available in a wireless microphone. Um, unlike the analog wireless microphones, which have actually a legal requirement for bandwidth that they can't exceed, um, we don't fall under those rules. In fact, technically to the FCC, we are not a wireless microphone. We are a hybrid digital data device. So we have a different set of rules that we can follow. And because of that, we have flat frequency response from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz on the belt packs. Now, of course, the microphones have mic capsules, and you, you get whatever the shape of the mic capsule is, which is very interesting because we're line six, and we know a thing or two about modeling. We have microphone modeling built into this microphone. So you can push a button and select between different models based on Sure, SM58, Beta58, Sennheiser 835, Audex OM5, Audio-Technica 4100, and Electro-Voice 767. Um, you can do that at the push of a button. Um, and you can also swap these capsules unscrew. And if you wish, you can replace them with capsules from Sure Wireless. You can use the Heil wireless. Uh, you can use the Audex wireless. There's a little adapter ring you need for size. Um, you can also use Electrovoice wireless capsules. They plug in. Now you'll get the true sound of those microphones because the radio section won't impede them. Uh, we have, like I said, full bandwidth. The other thing that's uh, remarkable about, about our radio is there are no companders. Analog. FM radio is a 50, 70 year old system and it has very limited dynamic range. Back when it was invented, there was no such thing as hi-fi. So uh, you don't get a, uh, a fully hi-fi dynamic range like you get when you use a, a microphone on a wire. Um, so they have 
what's called companding. They have a system that's similar to DBX noise reduction in which you squish the signal down, you transmit that through the air, and then you try to unsquish it at the other end. It's reasonably well uh, uh, implemented, but it's not perfect. And, and basically what happens is you lose transients. So all the sharp little things off your lips just stop those microphones until they can recover. But we don't have that system. You simply get whatever you put in the mic, you get out the other end uh, up to 120 dB dynamic range with no tricks. That's straight dynamic range with the, uh, the belt pack there. The other thing is these are extremely simple to operate. Your mother can do it. Um, there's basically nothing to do. You never have to scan for channels. You simply turn the units on. You set the transmitter and the receiver to the same channel number, and that's it. You're 100% set up. There's no volume adjustments, no gain adjustments, no pad, no squelch. There's nothing to adjust. It's simply all built into the box, um, and the computer does it. So if you can turn it on and set the channels, you're 100% perfect. Um, unlike uh, an analog wireless microphone where, for example, if the microphone has to be shared by maybe one person that's singing that would be pretty loud and another person that's speaking that wouldn't be nearly as loud, that microphone technically needs to be readjusted between uh, those two performers. Otherwise, you'll get too much distortion or you'll get too much noise. And as you change it back and forth, you'll get a little of both. Uh, our microphone simply doesn't have any adjustments. Um, just turn it on and go. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, interference from television stations that may be 100 miles away from you. Wherever you get off the tour bus, the same channel is going to work. So you never have to change these um, unless you run to, into somebody else that has a line six on the same channel. But other than that, they work license free uh, on the entire planet. You don't need a license in any country. If you tour overseas, um, you don't have to get special licenses. If you're a missionary and you're working around the world, um, these are on a license free band um, and they're not uh, covered by this FCC thing with the 700s and that current, uh, all that current hysteria, which is still changing. Uh, those rules are not set. Uh, new stations are coming on and off the air. Uh, transmission powers are being changed. Uh, tower locations are being changed. So um, you can't count on what's working for you today to be working for you tomorrow. But these are simply unaffected. Um, this band is not directly overseen by the FCC, but it's, it's called an ISM band at 2.4 gigahertz, um, and it's overseen by an international body called the ITU, 191 member nations. Uh, you have to get an awful lot of people to, uh, to go along with you to change anything. So um, these, these will not be changing. Um, if you look at that FCC notice, you'll, you'll see at the bottom it's kind of thinly disguised, but it, it pretty well portends the future. There are changes coming. There are licenses. Uh, we now have a plan before Congress to sell off the 500 band. So uh, anybody that just changed their mics from the 700s, hopefully you didn't end up in the 500 band because that has a limited lifetime. Uh, and that's if the white space devices, the TV band devices that will be coming on air soon uh, don't, don't kill you anyway. So we have 12 channels that work all the time. Don't confuse those with the analog frequencies. Other manufacturers will give you hundreds or maybe thousands of frequencies. Those aren't channels. You still, in a block with most of those microphones, are going to get 6, 8, 10, or 12 channels to work together. You have to go find open frequencies that are compatible. And the more channels you add, the harder it is to keep them from interacting with each other. Um, our microphones don't succumb to that intermodulation distortion that happens when you use other channels together. Um, it's digital information. It's basically harmonics. And what we are sending is not audio. We're sending ones and zeros. And the harmonic of a one and a zero is, doesn't mean anything. It's got to be a one or a zero. It's encrypted. It's the only thing these mics understand. So it's a very, very simple system.